My name is Thomas Hitzelsberger and I've been playing and living all my life for football and with football. Um, I played uh, in Germany most of the time and in England for various clubs. I played for the German national team. And uh, when I retired uh, about 10 years ago, um, I decided to come out as gay because obviously I know everything, the social aspects of, of football are very important. I wanted to raise my voice. And ever since, um, I've had a good life in, in living the football life and also advocating uh, and against discrimination and all the aspects that Athletic Club stands for. And that's why I'm here today and I have to thank you for naming me as an ambassador. So thank you very much. I was honoured. Um, I would almost say I was proud. Uh, a club at this size, a club with this history, with this quality, to think that I am worthy an ambassador is, is huge. So since I've arrived again, uh, it becomes bigger and bigger uh, and I still find it difficult to, to get everything into it. I'm, I'm delighted and I try to enjoy every moment and make you proud by everything I do from now on to the future in relation to Athletic Club, but I'm, I'm extremely happy. You reach a lot of people out there, uh, people look at you, you might be role model because you, you're a professional football player. And that's why everything you say um, reaches people and they listen carefully. So you better be careful what you say. And to me, um, football should be for everybody. Football is for everybody. But my experience is that's not always the case. Um, but my contribution is I have a voice. I'm visible. I played the game at the highest level. I want to be vocal. I want to support the people who are being discriminated. I want to include people who feel excluded. And ever since I've done that, I've had very good feedback. Um, I enjoy that role. I know I love football. I love watching the game. I love being here and watching Athletic Club today in the derby. But the game is obviously bigger than just this. And, uh, and that's why I'm, I'm delighted I have that voice that people give me the platform and allow me to speak up and hopefully out there some people are listening and say okay if he tells us we're included if he's brave enough back then he came out as gay and there is a possibility here is your place you can watch the game and you're not excluded then I fulfilled my role and I will continue to do so. Well of course I would argue that almost all of us have been going through difficult times in our lives there's always a reason for not feeling well we must accept that's part of life, but when it comes to something like feeling lonely because you think you're the only one who is, in this case, gay and you don't have anybody, nowadays there are a lot of opportunities to reach out to people. In my case, I was listening to stories of other gay people, how they suffered at first, then they reached out to other people and eventually they got help. And then they reached a point in their life where they never thought they could get to. And I would say exactly the same. I went through a difficult phase. But I, I realized once I start talking to people who are close to me, people who I trust, I will get a lot of support and, and you will grow as a person. And there is always help out there. You have to reach out to people, people you trust. Um, so in the end, I would say it gets better. It's, it's a phrase that I picked up. Um, and I think that was the case with me. So look for positive examples. Don't focus on the negatives out there. There is a lot of support. You have to look for it and I'm sure you'll find it. Well, the best example is always the moment I say to people, I'm going to Bilbao to watch Athletic Club. They say, oh my God, you're so lucky. You know, people say, they know exactly that this club is, is special in a very positive way. So I almost feel privileged, and I am not almost, I do feel privileged to be here. Uh, and again, finding out why you reduce yourself to a small area of people to recruit players. And at the same time, this is not only about football, it's responsibility for the people who live in the area. And that's why you feel when you're here at the club and in the city, the strong bond between the fans of Athletic Club and the people who work at the club. It's not a marketing thing that you do for a few years and then you change your direction. And this is impressive. A lot of people want to be like you, but I tell you, nobody has achieved it yet and you can be very proud of yourself.